extent, the University of Minnesota put some new tools to use this summer to slow the spread of invasive species in our lakes. This as they are making progress on a study that could be a game changer in getting rid of zebra mussels. Leah Bino has more from Lake Bryant. Leah. Yes, of course, boaters are familiar with the uh, boat launches and the inspection process that many lakes have, including here at Lake Bryant. Zebra mussels specifically, talking about that example, they are on the incline in recent years, according to researchers. Right now, they're in about 300 lakes across the state, so there's lots of work being done in a variety of different directions to try to keep them out of the other 10,000 lakes. We've got zebra mussels on these rocks here, and they're a little hard to see because they're small. At the Minnesota Aquatic Invasive Species Research Center, located on the U's St. Paul campus, Director Nick Phelps is making progress developing genetic control strategies aimed at killing off zebra mussels once and for all. We can essentially snip out the gene that forms the bissel threads that attaches the mussel to the rock. If it doesn't attach, it settles at the bottom and dies. Never been done in an aquatic setting like this, um, breaking ground here. While that research continues, his lab has launched this website aimed at slowing the spread of all invasive species across the state. It compiles more than a million and a half answers to the most common questions boaters are asked by inspectors at launches every day. Where's your boat coming from and where is it headed? That data now predicting which of the 10,000 lakes may be at highest risk of being infested with an invasive species hitching a ride. We get far too many lakes for the amount of resources we have at our disposal. This is a big problem. And trying to guess where they're going to go, um, we learned, hasn't been 100% effective. So uh, hopefully, tools like this can be another resource for them to. Uh, make better decisions, evidence-based decisions. Wright County Water Management Specialist Alicia O'Hara started using the interactive site a year ago as a tool for summer planning. Where should we put the inspectors and how long for? We only have so many hours that we can place the inspectors there as we only have so much money. Now any curious boater can log on. We're really making an effort to keep our lakes clean. I think it's very valuable. While Phelps continues his quest to rid the beloved lakes of invasive species, for good. Is it a love hate relationship? It's mostly hate. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, both personally and professionally, Phelps says he hopes all of this research pays off. If you're curious to take a look at that AIS Explore website for yourself, we've put a link to it on our website, fox9.com. Live from a very hot Lake Bryant, back to you. <laughs> all right, Leah, thank you.